Hi, I'm Tabitha Stevens. And as you know, I love filming in wild locations. But what are you to do when it's 118 degrees in Las Vegas? I mean, I don't want to boil like a lobster. So these two right here have come up with a special rig for me to keep cool while we're filming some lovely content for you. Go. Thanks for joining us today. This is Dan Eternal, who we love to have with us. He's with us today. We're gonna to show you today how we create these wild shower rigs, which we have used a lot. Yes, actually we've used the shower rig in our series, The Traveler, a bunch of little horror films, and also in some vignettes. In fact, we have shot one of those vignettes right in this exact very spot. So what we thought would be really exciting is if we showed you how we build one of these rigs. Obviously, there's a lot of different ways you can build these rigs. And the one that we've been using for quite a while now requires power. So you either have to have a generator with you or you have to have a truck or a Jeep or something that you can plug in power to a water pump to pump the water into the shower. We're gonna show you that and exactly how we built that thing. And we've used it a lot, as I said before. Then what we're gonna do is we just built a brand new gravity fed rig that does not require power. We've never used this thing before. So you're gonna see us as we manipulate this thing and see if the thing will work. So in other words, how to build an outdoor shower rig that is gravity fed. Should I be scared? Yes, you should. But first, let's show you how we built the shower rig we've been doing for years now. All right, so this is the basic setup we've been using for a while. This is the rig, that's the bucket that holds the water, the water and the power plant that operates the pump. Okay, so here's how this rig works. This is the basic shower unit head. This is built out of black pipe. It's one inch black pipe. Um, this runs down into this box that we built and there's a tube in here, a clear tube. Water goes down through there. We fill this up with water. We place the pump inside of the bucket. The bucket goes inside of here. There's a hole right here where the extension cord can come out, plug into the power plant. The minute you plug that in, there's power to the pump. It pumps water all the way out through here and we get desert shower. But I have a question. So the pump, um, Dan, is that one of the pumps that you would use, let's say for your aquarium? That actually is. Sometimes people use that pump to put the water back in the aquarium after they have cleaning it. Yeah. So very, very simple device. Get these at hardware stores. And again, this comes out, plugs right into this, which is where the power plant comes into play, and you get a shower. we wanted to build a new shower rig is, you know, we don't really want to have to have the power plant with us. So this way it alleviates us having to take the power plant with us to plug it in to get the shower to go. Thus, gravity fed. Gravity fed does not require power. Hear it? Oh shit. I'm gonna take off? No. Yes. No, I know, I know where this is going. Yes. No, come on, man. I need you to dig a hole. Right over by the apple boxes, just dig a hole. That's where we're gonna put the pole in for the new rig, the new shower rig. So you and Dan 
have fun. I'm going to go get the uh, pole set up and uh, we'll put this thing together. This isn't the first time and I'm sure it won't be the last. Let's go dig a hole. Yay. You're doing great. <sighs> How deep does he want this? How tall are you? I'm not going in the hole. <laughs> what is what, what what did he want? I don't know, you know, this is this is pretty adventurous. I I don't know how deep he wants it. But do you dig it? Really? I'm going to have you dig it. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. oh. Gary. It seems like you've done this before. A couple times. A couple times, Dan. You're doing such a good job. I'll just sit back and watch. Let oh, me know what? if you need any advice. Really? I thought you were my friend. <laughs> I am your friend from over here. Let me know if you want me to take over for a second. She won't let me dig the hole. She won't let me do anything with the hole. I'm not allowed in the hole, near the hole. It's a beautiful hole. Gary. Dan. Do you shut your pie hole? <laughs> All right, so this is the pole that's going into that hole. And if I've done this right, it should fit right into the hole. We fill it in, put the tub on the top, pour water in it, and the gravity, once we open that valve, the water should just spray out fine. So here we go. All right, simple design, gravity fed, old antique tub, baby tub, actually. We put a black pipe in here, it's all sealed. There's a uh, bib uh, connector there to get the water going an old rusty funky piece of metal into the ground and if you dug your hole correctly it'll all work if not the thing will just topple right over exciting yes so exciting <laughs> wow dan prediction <laughs> you guys trust each other a lot i guess so i'm going to take one finger another finger and cross them all right we got a right we have an interesting uh set of uh predictions here so again we have not done this before this is the first time you're going to see it as it happens with us all right okay so let's fill this thing up with water and let's see if this rig works cue in the helicopter to drop the water yeah actually we didn't think about that we have to get water up into this thing oh, Back the truck up to bring water? I can, I'll stand on the box, but someone else has to hold this to make sure it doesn't topple over. Gary, that would be you, because if it's heavy. Yeah. Okay, you think you can do it with that? Oh, yeah. Are okay. you sure? All right. Okay, all right, let's Seems give it a like shot. I'll do it with a pinky. Oh, uh-oh. We're already making a mess. I'm ready. Go ahead. Pretty stable so far. Oh, we got a little leak coming out of one of my screws. Uh-oh. So it looks like that silicon's not the best in the world. It's just a little grip. Um, that's enough to get a, do a test. Why don't you come down and hold it and I'll move the truck out of the way. I'll move the truck again. It's just a little leak. Uh, yeah, Peanut, you want to go ahead and move the truck? Yeah. Tabitha's moving the truck. So we have a little leak here. Okay, so we have, you got to can hold this for a second. Okay. So we have a little leak. We have a little leak on one of the bolts in the bottom. So the silicon, obviously, whoever did the silicon job didn't do a good job. Okay, so can you reach it to turn it on? Do you, um, you need me to, to do? No, you can't. No, no. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. How about I do it? Sure. This is too tall. We're going to have to cut this at some point, I think. It's leaking. Okay, I know. We already established that whoever did the silicon caulk on there really See, sucks. I wonder who did that. Someone's a bad caulker. So, all right. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to turn it on okay. and then run. Oh, wait, how is okay. it going to come out though? Okay. I mean, I don't... Uh, I have no idea. Blast? I have no idea. You ready? I think 
so. Okay, here we go. Okay. Well, what, okay. I'll tell you, why don't you step off? No, we are we gonna do then, this. Okay, you're just gonna do it? Yes. All right, here we go. Have you tested this yet, Gary? Oh. No. Okay, wait, hold on. Here, I'm gonna hand you this. <laughs> it works! It works! Woohoo! All right. Ugh. The water is hot. <laughs> it is. Um, but then the breeze hits and it gets cold. <laughs> but it works. Yay! It's working. The gravity fed shower is totally working.